Well, thank you for joining us. Pointing a laser at a plane is dangerous and illegal, and now the FAA says it's been seeing a record number of people doing this this year. And tonight, Heather Lee spotlights back-to-back -back incidents that happen right here in Tampa and why the people behind the laser will likely get caught. Oh, there it is. Okay. Right from the river. Back to back laser strikes. Oh, we're getting laser struck out here uh, just west of the field. Right here in Tampa. Once the laser beam hits the windshield, it refracts and just creates this large flash in the cockpit. Chris Shepard, the Tampa Police Aviation Unit's chief pilot, says those lasers were pointed at their choppers and one also pointed at a passenger airplane with hundreds of people on board. The laser, if it hits the, the eye correctly, it can actually do damage to the eye and that, at that point, the uh, pilot would have to receive medical care. The pilots are often forced to look away, to duck down, to do maneuvers that are not what we would typically want a pilot to be doing when they're in control of an aircraft. It creates an incredibly dangerous situation for folks in the air and on the ground. It's happening a lot here in Tampa. Um, it goes in waves. We'll have a period where we won't have many strikes and then it will pick up. There's been 458 laser strikes in Florida this year, 56 in Tampa alone. The second highest city in Florida to report laser strikes, according to the Federal Aviation Administration. Michael O'Hara says nearly half of the 56 were aimed at aircrafts below 3,000 feet. So that's obviously a critical phase of flight when pilots need to be focused on getting those airplanes up and out of the airport safely or perhaps making their final approach to the airport. It's why consequences are so steep. Pointing a laser at an aircraft is a felony and it can cost you $11,000 in fines from the FAA. Even more if you point at multiple aircrafts. Plus, you could also face up to five years in prison. Inside we have our, our display screen and this is our hand controller for the camera. Allowing pilots like Shepard and his team the ability to catch folks who do it. We can follow it right down directly to the person who has the laser in their hand. The FAA has handed out $120,000 in fines this year alone. You can also report laser strikes to the FAA on their website. We posted a link to abcactionnews.com. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.